Welcome back to my channel, I'm Pew Pew Meow and this is Field of Glory 2, a practice game for Digital League. So this is a practice game for the early medieval period and we are playing uh, Rus 1960-1053 AD versus Khorasanians 821-1003 AD. Uh, so uh, this is my pick, uh, the Rus is my pick for the uh, Digital League and of course uh, the Khorasanians are the pick for Lunar Fox for the Digital League as well. So we are in a different brackets but we are uh, just uh, trying to kind of get a feel for armies and see how they perform against different opponents. So let us uh, dive right in. So looking at the battlefield, uh, we start uh, on a plane, uh, basically all open ground everywhere on our side of the map uh, that changes into hills and rough ground as you go up and then forest. So the idea here uh, would be to get a lot of um, basically troops that can traverse hills and forest so we're gonna get as many archers as we can we're gonna get as many must archers as we can and of course we're gonna get as many light horse archers as we can as well and i believe horse archers should we get horse archers or should we uh go for the shield wall i think we we're gonna go for Nomad Horse Archers, and we have more, okay, some uh, some Armored Cuff, Superior Armored for 60 points is not bad, not bad at all. I think I'm gonna skip Huskarls, uh, they are Superior Armored Offensive Spearmen, so that's, it is a good unit, but for 72 points they are not as good as Varangian Guard for the Byzantine uh, around the same period. And I think for Engine Guard was 80 points, but whatever the case is, I think uh, getting more units, I, I can almost get two units of Shield Wall for the same price, and I think that's exactly what we are going to do. Or actually, maybe not. Uh, maybe we're gonna do this instead. Right, so we have full Armored Calf, full Nomad Horse Archers, uh, Nomad Light Horse Archers, uh, three extra Shield Wall, Master Archers, Light Archers. So uh, what we have decided to do is uh, we're going to set up light archers on uh, to utilize the rough ground and terrain, being able to get into the forest, uh, coupled with the nomad horse archers in support uh, that, while they're not that great on the rough ground, but there is a lot of open ground here, and that would allow us to start moving up and uh, catch up with our light horse, and of course any troops that need to be chased are going to be chased with our armored cav and hopefully this is going to be our flanking force on the left hand side we have a small sneaky force so to say actually we are going to change them this way because they can sneak up and then again flank a disorder etc uh, the main line of is of course in the center it is an offensive shield wall supported by some must archers and what we're gonna do with that we're gonna move to the left hold that hill and hopefully let them come to us all right so as we can see he has some a light calf on the right flank which we shall go and uh, chase away and of course his main force is in the middle with uh, Gilman, Gilman, <laughs> uh, horse archers and Turkish Cav, okay. And if we zoom in a little bit, so he has some light horse archers on the left flank screening. And regular spearmen, archers, light foot archers, okay. So I think what we are going to do is uh, we not able to really uh, hide. So we're gonna shoot. Okay, right there. 
here. Uh, we are going to move up. Okay, so we see that he's trying to sneak up his horse archers on that flank as well. And I think what I will do is I will send my light foot here. Okay, to, to explore the possibilities. Okay, disruption, nice. So he has Turkish Calf Gilman on the right flank as well. And then we're gonna send our archers onto the right flank. Let's see how that works out. Right, as for the center, uh, the idea is to just skedaddle to the left as before. And that's exactly what we shall do. Nice and easy. Alrighty, well, let's see what the opponent has in store for us today. Okay, so he's uh, shifting right or his left. I can see, uh, so Gilman, Turkish Cav, right, 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 okay. Ooh, he has Dailami food, okay. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we, we're gonna have a standoff. Uh, but we shall, we shall see. Alright. So, uh, let's check it out. Yo, so he is definitely switching everything to the right hand side so what i will do is this We are planning to go up. Okay, just like so. Uh, as for here, we are gonna try and disrupt them. Him here as well. Okay. And here as well. Okay, he's holding firm. Let's try this. Okay, he's disrupted here too. And now we just want to come up here. Shoot him up a little bit here as well. Okay, he's holding firm here. Uh, should we chase him? We don't really want to chase him, so we are gonna go and circle around. Well, let's uh, have a look at what our opponent is doing on his next turn. Okay, holding firm is good. Okay, some evasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. That's fine. Okay, that, that might be problematic. I, I don't think the light units can zone out. But if they do, it's really annoying. Okay, so the left flank he is just shooting up. All right, let's deal with these people first. One. Two, 
three. Righty. One. Two. Okay, I'll deal with them a little bit later. Can we shoot? No, we can't. We can move, however. Maybe like so. Okay. Two of them are disrupted. I'm gonna have to do it this way. Okay. Right. So the idea here is basically just to route these two units. Uh, we'll do it now next turn unless, of course, he decides to run away. As for here, uh, we are... Expert horse, so superior armored bone sword against light spear sword. 24 4. Mm. Of course, he has two of them, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and disrupt this unit first of all. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna try and disrupt this unit. as well. No, no luck. Okay, we're gonna try and... Yeah, it breaks. Perfect. Okay. We'll do this. Ooh, holding firm. Okay. Mm. Move up here. There's Gilman there. Mm. I'm afraid that if I'm gonna engage, he, he's, he's gonna have a flank on me. And that is not good. But, uh, hmm. If not, he's just gonna be... If not, he's gonna be just shooting at me, uh, which is also not good. So hopefully if he does flank with his Gilman, I can charge him on the side there. Right, as for here... We have more Gilman there. Maybe, maybe we'll do it this way here. Kind of want to concentrate my fire, mm. but maybe doing it this way is actually better. Right. Alrighty, let's have a look. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, as long as we hold firm. Ah, right, well, that is not good. Okay, charge. It's fine. Ah, okay. Kind of walked right into that. Because, of course, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna be on top of the hill. Uh, but then I auto break. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Right, okay, so we have won the charge, but we have lost an existing combat. Good thing he did not uh, charge uh, that unit, but he has charged their life troops. So that's not good. Uh, but we can now counter charge him, I suppose. Um, we have run off the board. Great. Okay, uh, so we'll start with the left flank, and uh, all we need to do here is we need to make sure that we get some disruptions going. Like so. Yeah, maybe not, not quite like so, but uh, we'll, we'll try here. Okay, he has hold firm, which is fine. But uh, we're gonna go here. And we'll, we'll move up here. That allows us to shoot. Okay, fragment. And another fragment, and now it's uh, nice and easy. I'm gonna charge and break. And we're gonna charge and break. Okay. So that's our left flank completely cleared. And now we can start moving up. I don't know that it's 
probably not the most optimal thing to do. Uh, but we're just trying uh, different things in this uh, in this video, so I'll start doing a bigger flank here. Right, as uh, for here, what we want to do here is of course something that would win us a battle, so we shall do this. Okay, and of course he has fallen back, that's perfect. We're not gonna move up here, uh, even though we probably should try. Well, we can't run away. Here we're gonna turn and face. Uh, here we're not gonna try and engage there, so we're gonna basically try and run away. Okay, we have disrupted him. Excellent. Uh, that's what we want. And here we're gonna try for a disruption as well. Okay, we have disrupted him here also. Um, I suppose uh, what we do want to do is... Uh, do this. Okay, and here... Do this as well. And basically I know that uh, I probably should have held off on all that stuff, but just just to get him down because um, next turn uh, unless he charges and gets away uh, which he probably will um, we can uh, drop him down one more and then get him uh, out or get him uh, away from us or take him out of his misery really we're fragmented right okay well that that's really really bad actually for us Alrighty, so let's see how this is turning out. Okay, well, that, that wasn't too bad, actually. It wasn't too bad at all, matter of fact. Interesting, so he is trying to push, uh, push me off uh, there completely. Commander in chief, spear, spear, right, okay. Irregulars, right. Shoot, break, yeah, unfortunately. But that is actually not too bad because we can do this now. One, two, fragmented, okay. Ah, oh, why can't we charge? cannot charge because we cannot charge. Uh, right. Try and move here. Try and move here. Fragment it. And we can charge here at least. Okay, we'll charge here. That's not good. I really thought that he would take the charge and break. Okay, uh, so I think all of our right flank is done. So let's uh, let us move up. Uh, can we just do it this way? So uh, what we want to do is we want to punch through. So we're gonna. I'm gonna try and do this. Basically, we want to dislodge this um, this archers. Okay, we'll fall back here. We'll move up here. Archers, move them up. Okay. Right.
right here. Well, let's have a look what uh, the opponent has done this turn round. Okay. Interesting. Charge. Great. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. I see. <laughs> All he needs to do is interpose a couple of uh, units, and I don't think he can make it, but yeah. Or, or, or he can do this as well. I think that that zones him out completely. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's what's up, really. We'll see, we'll see. See how it goes. Right, some shooting on the left flank. And we, of course, do run away. Right, uh, we, we shall... We shall do it this way. We, we are not gonna be doing, going there. Uh, can we charge? Not quite, so we're gonna run up and shoot up. Shoot up. Okay. Run up and shoot up. Up, maybe, maybe, should I? Uh, 208, 240, no, 159, 233, 232, so uh, they should go down. Maybe auto break now? No. Okay, that's not good. Uh, right. What we shall do, however, is do this. And. Uh, Really, really, really bad decision. I honestly thought he's gonna run, but yeah, and now yeah, this this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be really bad, right? Uh, we're gonna do some shooting here. Oh, interesting. More must archers, right? Okay, fine. Don't need to do much here. Now we will, however, move up like so. Let's have a look what is happening. What is happening here? Okay, church. Interesting. Zone out, I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. It does make sense. Okay, uh, here. So we're gonna. We, we, unless he charges, counter charges us here. We should be able to charge back. Okay, he's. Uh, Swapping his units around. Yeah. They lie me food, of course. Makes sense. Uh, we're gonna lose this unit. And. Yeah. Okay. So. Not good. Ooh, and we're gonna lose this unit as well. And this one. And of course, now we cannot charge at all. Okay, uh, we are not doing that great. Right, well, let's try and... Let's try and push this. Nice, nice, okay, that's perfect. Shoot him up here. Here we are, go... Yeah, we have to escape, as they say. Right here, we're gonna move up this way. And uh, we can start making our way to 
the uh, to the hill here, basically try and take the higher ground. Um, here we are gonna stay, but what we're gonna do here is this. Turn. In that case, we'll just shoot. Whittle down uh, his Dialami foot. Alrighty, well, let's uh, have a look at what the opponent has in store for us this round. Alright, is he gonna chase? Uh, no, he cannot. Perfect. Uh, Alright. That is not good, but I think we are okay. Ooh. I don't think I'd be able to charge him. It's really set up for failure right there. <laughs> right, well, we'll see. We'll see in a second. Okay, uh, he is trying to go out, which is kind of good. That's good. Ah, caught. Okay, uh, let us try and resolve this. Of course, we cannot do anything here. Uh, let's just hope. Yeah, uh, not much we can do, I'm afraid. And we cannot turn, okay. Uh, all we can do here, uh, here... Turn and try and basically whittle him down. Hope he's gonna drop. Uh, as for here, what do we have? Right, we have no way of winning this battle, however... We're gonna be shooting him up. Here and here. Is, you know, he wants to bring his Dailami foot. He can pay for that. Come on. Alright. I think we are good here, and I think this is what we're going to do. Charge. And next turn we can charge with the rest of the units. As for here, we are going up. And here, uh, that is zoned out. He won't be able to charge on the side anyway. Let's have a look what the opponent has in store for us. Okay, charging up the map, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, we can hide here. That's good. I suppose we are holding firm, however. Okay, that's not good. And he's charging off. I suppose I do need to bring him in, so I'll, I'll, have, I'll try and bring the whole thing, the whole uh, cavalry onto my spears instead of around him. Okay, he's fragmented now. Uh, he's there like my foot. Ah, oh, lovely. My, my unit has returned. Oops, a mistake here. Alright, we're just gonna move up and shoot him up. Nice and uh, simple. Horse archers. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm, I'm... Should I try and evade or just yeah, shoot him? Okay, let's have a look what's happening here. It doesn't really matter. I mean, they're gonna lose. 
probably gonna run away on his turn. At least I'm hoping that my uh, Light Spear Sword Cavalry will take the charge instead of running away, because that would be a little bit embarrassing, right? Okay, we'll do it this way. As for here, uh, really, just charge and break. Bam. Done. All done. Gotta move up here. Those are zoned out, so really. Yeah, right. Can we? No, we can't. Can we? Yes, we can. It's a little bit better, but not by much. I think we should do this. And that way he won't be able to charge us, I think. Uh, we'll see in a minute, anyway. I really want to drop the cohesion there. And then we might be able to charge him. Uh, as for here... I think we're gonna go up and shoot him. And here, I think... If we 626, what if we move to closer range 830 here? Please. Like so. Mm. Yeah, maybe move here and uh, turn this way. Then once this is dislodged, at least we'll be able to shoot all over his uh, heavy fruit or spearman or whoever he has there, doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm a really little bit uh, worried about this unit. Um, Dailami foot, they're absolutely amazing the unit. They're medium foot only. So as long as we can charge him and not drop the cohesion, we should be fine, uh, but... Actually, you know what, we're gonna charge here and hopefully not drop cohesion. Damn! Alrighty. So it looks like... Uh, there was a bit of running away there. And he is very nicely going towards my foot. Break. Please take the charge. Oh, he ran off the board. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Okay, uh, if we can drop him, we probably can charge him as well. Ooh, nice rally. We are gonna go there just to be out of the way. Right, let's, let's try and drop him. Not quite, not quite. Okay, well, whatever the case is, uh, we are probably gonna be good here, or maybe that is even better. Like so. Yep, that is good. Right, here we are really needing to get away from the pursuit. We shall be going here. Right, as for... Oh, we have been... Right, we have been smashed, haven't we? Okay. Let's try and shoot them up, shall we? I suppose we'll do it this way and Yeah, that is not a good trade. Well, you know what? Oh, we can uh, we can come back. 
basically what I want is for that archery unit to really start uh, going away. Hmm. What to do, what to do? I mean, if we can attack him from behind, we can overpower him here. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll charge him from the side in a second, or next turn. As for here, uh, that is really not good. Um, hmm. I mean, we can turn this way. Or we must turn this way, should I say. The issue here is that I don't think that unit is blocked from attacking us, so he should be able to attack. And that's two on one, and I really, really don't like this. As for here, uh, we might withdraw a horse next turn and charge in with the archers. I really want to dislocate this unit. Right, uh, what else do we have to do? Horsey, shoot please. Yeah, perfect. Here, turn and shoot. Let him charge into the forest, if he dares. Right, yeah, well, let's have a look what uh, we have. Okay, so he has seen the definitely the one danger there, so he's trying to, of course, turn around and attack it. Okay. And nice, nice disruption. Okay, two. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. That, that was... Uh, Really, really nice uh, taking charges. <laughs> okay, and that's perfect. He has engaged our. Oh yes. Okay, this was a very, very good round for us, a very good turn. So what we're gonna do is gonna move up and we're gonna try and get this unit down as much as we can of course that's not really happening just yet are they turning around they are turning around so it looks like he's trying to bait me they're turning around here as well can we yeah well you're not going anywhere bud you are gonna get pursued right it looks like he's trying to bait me with this unit, so one, two, three, four, yeah. I cannot do that yet, so I'm gonna I gonna move here and he might he might shoot with this unit, but that is too far. Uh, right, as for here. I think we're gonna engage Oh Mistake. <laughs> Huge mistake. I I should really be thinking about it a little bit more. So the reason this has happened is we're go moving up the hill first of all, and second of all, they are in a rough terrain and they're light unit. So of course they will not run away, they will take a charge. And now I have opened myself up for charges and routing and that was just... Not on at all. I have literally wasted the whole turn, I'm afraid. Okay, well, uh, as for here... Looks like... Uh, are we... are we able to...? No, we're not. But what we will do is... Oh, we can turn around. Dion. <laughs> well, whatever the case is, let's uh, let's take it one step at a time. First of all, shoot, shoot. 
shoot. I would really like for that to crumble. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. So what we're gonna do here is... Uh, we're gonna try and charge him next turn. Uh, yeah, that is not good. Okay. Here... We are not gonna do this. Great chance of winning this one. Not such a good chance of doing anything here. Uh, we will move here. Okay, that's perfect. Hmm. useless. Uh, right. Well, let's try and resolve this. Please fall back. Oh, perfect. That's, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can do a bit of shooting here as well. So some rallying uh, with his troops. I really didn't want this to rally, but there you go. That did not go well, as I was expecting it not to go well. Uh, surprisingly, we actually won that combat, and we ran all the map. Not good. Yeah, okay, so he is uh, shooting us up. As long as we evade, but of course we can't evade everything, so we are down one more unit. And this kind of allows us now to circle back. This, there is no need to chase the calf. It's threatened enough with, with the back charge was not for me. Okay, uh, he, he's chasing the uh, he's chasing the horses. And of course, chasing horses is never good. Okay, fragment. That's that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's. Perfect. Uh, so uh, we are going to try and drop him first. Cause that way we just need to uh, let's try and drop him some more. Uh, as for here, uh, we are going to charge now that we can. Okay, uh, here. We shall see in a second. Um, we are gonna start. We are gonna start moving. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And here we are gonna try and charge in. That allows us to break. I think we're gonna move up here. Okay, we should be fine charging up hill there. As long as we hold firm, which we have, and that's perfect. Can we charge in there? No, we can't. Oh, I should have. Uh, what? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Uh, right, what to do here in that case? I'm just gonna move up. And that is all we can do next turn. We can roll up here. That is fine. Uh, right, here we are gonna go and support on this flank. And I think we really need to start moving that way right here. 83%. I would really like to do something with charging to the side first before... Ah, man. 79. Here we are at a big disadvantage. Yeah. We are holding firm. Holding firm is good. 
Uh, so, right, so what will happen next turn, actually? Let's take a look. Win. Okay, fragment. Probably not gonna win the whole battle, but as long as we can get this unit to run away, that's all we want, really. Here, yeah, we are out of the map. Not much we can do. But we can do this. We can also run the launch great, really badly. Here... Yeah. We have won this battle twice, and he's holding firm. Yeah, well, we, we won't be winning anymore after this. Right, uh, I think we are done for this turn. I have forgotten we have this unit as well. So that's perfect. Uh, we are gonna start bringing the right flank, uh, strengthening that. Okay, so our cavalry is holding, um, surprisingly enough. Not for long, of course. We're gonna get an impact here, okay. As long as... Yeah, we can't win this battle. Well, these two units are lost. We have hold, held firm, okay. That's perfect. We are pushed back. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, some indecisive combats. That That's expected until uh, flanking comes in. Okay. So, are they turning? They're not turning. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should abandon this and uh, just go away. Because he's gonna get chased. Uh, he's gonna get chased and caught. So I think uh, the best course of action here would be to move and move up and try and reach my own lines. Or, or possibly go into the... Uh, maybe go to the forest and try and get this dude. Right, we're gonna go to the forest. Um, I don't see this... Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is not gonna go well. Right, and, and especially when the Gilman comes and so two turns to, to get flanked from the back. Uh, but uh, as of here, it doesn't really matter, we're gonna lose uh, this turn on next. And there we go, uh, that is a loss, so we have one more turn to get to the forest, that's excellent. Uh, as for here, we are moving up here. And uh, we are gonna go and do this, so they cannot attack. And of course they can filter through, uh, but we are gonna be moving up. Shooting some as well, of course. Why wouldn't we want to shoot? We will move up with our archers here uh, to facilitate the flank. and we'll circle with a horse again to try and get the flank going. Here we're gonna impact, and he is holding firm. That's interesting. Uh, here, of course, uh, we are setting up a flank move. Come on. And held, wow. As for here, yes, we will uh, get in the back and make sure that he does drop cohesion. And of course now we have a couple of turns to bring him down. Should we move up here or should we try and take this dude? Um, two and one, three and one. We're gonna do, we're gonna do three and one here as well. We go three and one here, three and one here, and uh, then we'll have two and one. Even though he's gonna charge here, um, yeah, I mean, or, or he he will charge the offensive shield wall. We do have a higher chance of winning, but we have not won yet. Okay, uh, I think we are all good here. Archers, archers, uh, will move up on this flank. Really want to kind of reinforce uh, this flank for whenever the cavalry starts flying in. Ooh, 
Ooh, he rallies. That puts me in a very bad position. No, he really tries to get to these these guys here. Of course, he will try to get to him as well. But yeah, this. I mean, he can time up for a bit. Right, indecisive melee is happening. More indecisiveness. Ah, oh, lovely, 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 lovely. And they break. No, they don't. Okay. Interesting. And we rally. Okay. Overall, uh, this has gone quite well. Ooh, our, uh, our horse archers have returned. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Now we're gonna try and get to the safe spot. There we go. That is gonna be that for that unit. Right, as for here... Okay. Well, first of all, we're gonna take uh, this... Take uh, this battle. And uh, this battle. And hopefully this battle. Excellent. Okay, they have run away. Here, uh, they are at full, so charge in the back. Disrupted. And they break. Perfect, and we don't actually need to do anything extra. There's flank attack again. And flank attack here. Beautiful. Fragment. And hold firm. Okay. No problem at all. Okay, well, we'll move up here. Uh, here. We really need to get closer. Maybe like okay, I don't know. here we're all good. And here okay. Still holding firm. Okay. Moving up. Here. Okay, he continues to rally here. Which is fine. Um, which is fine because we have people coming in. Okay. And we ought to break there very expectedly. That's fine. Set plus 17, right? Okay. Yeah, he tries to catch us, but he won't be able to because we're gonna go into the forest now. Ah, we auto break. Okay. That's not good. But of course, uh, they break here. Or not. They definitely break there. I can tell you that much. Nice. Holding firm all around. Okay. Well, we have rallied here, so we're gonna try and go as far away from this unit as possible. Uh, as for here, uh, we're gonna move up. Maybe move up here and uh, try and shoot. Not trying to get a lot of casualties straight away, but uh, every little bit helps. And we just want to make sure that if he runs there, 
We're in a position to shoot him wherever he goes. If he turns around, we have another turn. And of course, uh, the only horse that can charge us is this horse. So, uh, but he will be able to shoot at us from these two cavalry units. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, let us charge. And charge again. And the other way. That's perfect. Okay, I, I was hoping that we can charge in the back, but we can't. Right, let's uh, see if we can break them here. We can. That's perfect. And really, uh, that should be that. That should wrap us up nicely over here. Well, uh, enemy general has fallen. Right, that's, that's kind of pouring salt into the wound. Uh, because unless a lot of units rally, uh, he is done for. Uh, we'll move up here, actually. We're gonna turn around just to make sure that if something comes at us from there, we're fine here. Um, let's try it. Just rush them a little bit. Uh, we are low on ammo, so we're gonna move up. Shoot them up from this distance. And this unit can definitely charge my side and they break fantastic. So whatever happens, unless half of his army rallies next turn, that is us done uh, with the game and we have pretty much won. I'm gonna hide this unit in the forest, uh, there is no need to risk anything in, in just in case if he rallies. Well, we'll just uh, finish watching this and then we'll do a post-game analysis. So what has gone right, what has gone wrong, and uh, what is it that both ourselves and our opponent uh, can improve on. So the initial idea was uh, sort of good. We had a flank going with our cavalry and light foot. Uh, we had also our main force foot uh, moving up to this flat, uh, to this, not flat, to this hill. Uh, of course, uh, moving to the hill is a great idea and maybe we could have lured uh, the opponent if the opponent was a computer, but why would a human uh, leave this fantastic hill and trudge along through the open terrain and engage me where I am at an advantage? So that, that would not happen. Uh, in, in saying that, uh, his cavalry sort of zoomed past us, uh, moving to support uh, his left, our right flank. Uh, maybe we should have engaged it, maybe not. Uh, it is debatable. Um, we could have saved our right flank, perhaps. But of course, engaging cavalry with foot in the open ground, probably not the best of ideas. So I, I think I have done the right thing, not engaging them. Uh, him moving his light uh, calf towards me and trying to do something with just four units. Really, really not a good idea. Uh, I have able to just roll him up pretty fast and that allowed us to circle around and do the envelopment that we have done here. Uh, these two units of archers in the forest were absolutely fantastic. They were a real pain in the in my side trying to dislodge and uh, they have done quite a bit uh, maybe not as much as they could have done uh, because they were sort of uh, blocked so the line of sight of them was blocked by quite a few different units but uh, they were a real pain for me uh, maybe not very useful for my opponent uh, so, dynamic foot, uh, they really need to be softened every single time and uh, that can be really, really useful trying to tackle them and of course if we can flank them do, uh, that was crucial in defeating dynamic foot, otherwise they would have really uh, rolled, well maybe not rolled us up, but they definitely were able to go toe to toe with our, um, with our general heavy foot uh, offensive shield wall so that was good for him and uh, thankfully we were able to roll up a few units and bring 
other units in support. Now let's uh, review the disaster that was a right flank. It started fantastically. We were able to disrupt and even rout a few of his light uh, horse, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember this correctly. Unfortunately, I sort of, as I tend to do, just let the cavalry run and do their thing because they're so maneuverable. And A, I got cavalry chased off the map, even though a few of them came back, but not all. Uh, B, I was able to set myself up for charges in such a way that we had two or three, pe uh, two or three people, two or three uh, units on one of mine. And of course, uh, not going back, trying to reunite uh, the cavalry together and just trying to engage his incoming cavalry while being flanked. It is... It's, it was a disaster. I am still struggling, uh, utilizing cavalry and to a lesser extent light uh, food as well, uh, because I am not able to kind of at a glance see can my light foot run away or if they can run away from this unit is there a second unit that is able to charge them and basically route them from uh, the battle or, or just time up and then defeat them if it is uh, another unit of cavalry versus light foot and that happened on a number of occasions here and unfortunately does happen quite a lot to me in other games as well so Apart from that, I mean, kudos to my opponent. Uh, he has done really well to roll up this flank. I don't consider these three units anything at all. Uh, they they are might as well not exist. Uh, the flank was defeated in detail. In saying all of that, I was able to pull away all of his horse archers and, and some non-horse archers to to engage uh, this flank and that allowed me to move in with my foot uh, much uh, arguably more superior foot and more numerous foot and engage his foot and defeat him well actually all of them i have routed all of his foot apart from this light foot uh, unit but that's that's about it so, I have really enjoyed this uh, game. I think it was a reasonable showcase of how my force performs. I hope it was as useful for Lunar Fox, my opponent, as it was for me to see how it would go in a digital league. And of course, best of luck to Lunar Fox and to everybody who is watching uh, this video. If you are in the digital league season 12, best of luck to you and hope your battles are as fun as they are successful. For now though, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, do hit a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you do like this type of content, do subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every single time a video is released because here is a statistic for you. 75% of my views are from non-subscribed people it would really help the channel and of course bring this content to a wider audience as well that might also be interested in something like this if you do subscribe for now thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye